welcome back to my channel. RV Rookie here. <laughs> because it's the holidays. I have 10 things today, 10 gifts. They're great for your RVer. These things are things that I don't have, that I know as an RVer I would like, but I don't have them. Uh, well, I have one of them. I do have one of them. So, do you like the tree? It's got little Disney stitch on it. <laughs> all right, moving right along. Hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. I did with Rookie Party of One as Christmas. Rookie Party of One. Good times. Okay, number one, first gift. And this is something I would really love to have, I know, being an RVer. Internet booster. Every park I go to, the internet is horrible. And I mean horrible. I have the option at the current park that I'm in right now that I could buy an internet boost or um, better internet. I think it's like 30 a month. Um, I don't do that. I use a little jetpack by Verizon and it only gives me 15 gigs of data and that's, it never ends up being enough. I think my tripod is swinging. Okay, we're gonna ignore that. Try. <laughs> so, internet booster. Good stuff. Number two. And this is the only gift on this list that I do have. And that's the Rock Pals. It is a charging station that you can charge with the solar panel. And I got mine just like this one. They come together. And living in RV parks, I haven't had to use this except one time, and I'm glad I had it when I had to use it, trust me. It was the middle of the summer, I was in Iowa, and the crappy, crappy campground that I was at, the electricity went out. And I remember, I was lucky to be home because nobody was telling anybody about this. The electric guys just came, knocked it out, nobody had electricity, and my neighbors next door had two dogs in there and they their AC went out so I remember calling the park ranger being like hey they have dogs their AC went out not good and here comes the electric guy and I'll be enough oops anyway so this is really good to have when your power goes out and I know a lot of boondockers out there have them and they love them and they swear by them and I like mine and the time that I had to use it I thank God that I had it number three this is for the decorator and all of us an outside rug and the reason I love these outside rugs I don't have one but I would like one <laughs> and the one in this picture is actually it the swooshies in it matches the side of Sunny so good um, they're on Amazon however they're a little more reasonable uh, at Camping World but it's just nice to have a little outside rug right actually this one's big it's a big area rug and I want to say, I think it lights up. Number four. The always loved Berkey water filter system. I have seen a lot of our viewers with this. They absolutely love it. It makes it to where they can drink the water right out of their faucet after it's been through the Berkey. Me, I have to buy bottled water all the time and go through that. Bah. But I do it. <laughs> So Berkey's, they're a little pricey. I believe they run around $200, but you can find them on Amazon. No, I'm not working for Amazon, just saying. But the Berkey is an excellent thing to have if you're a full-timer. Are my antlers crooked? Okay. <laughs> Berkey water filter, good stuff. Number five, and this is another thing that I kind of wish I had, the mini shop vac, y'all. I mean, it comes with a little hose and it goes everywhere in your RV. And I do have one that is rechargeable, a small vacuum, but it's just with dogs and the fur. And I have a lot of dog fur, y'all. Two dogs, a lot of fur. This would meet my needs perfectly. And maybe it would meet the, meet the needs of your favorite RVer. It's just, it's tiny, it's compact, it can be stored, and yet it's more powerful than these other little dust buster type things. Number five. This one I absolutely love, the gravity chair. Ah, uh, I sat in one one time at a campground that belonged to a neighbor and it was just 
so comfy. And I've got a horrible back. And then this is just absolutely, absolutely perfect. Okay, moving on. Number six. And this for me I love because I live in a tiny compact space with two dogs. It is a, a air purifier and it is USB rechargeable. Would love to have one. Um, when I was in South Carolina, a lot of pollen, I believe it was, yeah, it was in the springtime, but a lot of pollen got in my rig and it was just absolutely horrible. And then, like I said, with dogs, just cleans the air in your RV, wonderful, doesn't take up much space. Really, really, really like it. Number, where am I at? See, I'm real, that's why. I'll just screw up here in front of y'all. Don't care. Okay. Number eight, a mini blender. And this, again, is also USB, so if you're a boondocker and you have the little Rock Pals power port, voila. I just think it'd be cool to have like a little itty bitty blender. I have a mini toaster, and like y'all saw, I cooked an entire Thanksgiving dinner using nothing but a hot plate, a microwave, and a mini toaster. And it worked out quite well. It was actually very, very good. I think I showed y'all a picture at the end of that video. Number nine, and this, uh, the ideal gift in my book, jumper cables, because y'all, I got to Florida and I'm not sure why, I'm sure it happens, but when I got to Florida, my tow car was dead. And it, it obviously wasn't bad because uh, somebody at the park had jumped it off a uh, golf cart and it started right up. However, these are a must have if you're an RVer. I don't have them. I hate that I don't have them. Maybe I'll get some someday. Job first. But jumper cables, I think they're a must have for every RVer. I really, really do. Uh, there's so many times I wish I've had jumper cables and I've just been fortunate enough that another RVer does. I would hate to be in a spot where I'm not around other RVers and I need jumper cables because then I am uh -huh, trying to keep the cursing out at a minimal. And number 10, and this is always going to be at the top of my wish list. It'll probably never happen, but I, this is, this thing is so cool. The mini washer. It's a washing machine. Some of them, they sell a lot of different brands and whatnot. So they're portable and they're great if you live in an RV. I've seen many YouTube videos of people using these and they love them. Absolutely love them. And when I was working in the restaurant at the last place I stayed, there were times where I just had to wash one shirt. And those of you that stay in RV, RV parks and do laundry, that gets pricey. That gets so pricey. So I definitely am going to invest in one of these someday. But yeah, it spins it out to where the clothes are almost dry. And then voila, just hang them out, hang them up. And from what I've seen in the videos, the people are saying that these are practically dried by the time they come out because it not only does it wash, it spins. So, and it's portable and it's tiny, so it's easy to store. So, my dogs are hungry right now, and they're both sitting here looking at me. Therefore, I'm gonna have to, I am off to feed the dogs, y'all. It is their time. And I'm sorry, I'm using a very odd tripod thingy that keeps swinging. <laughs> so, if my video's all over, I apologize in advance. So, happy holidays from my RV to yours, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it gave you a couple of ideas. Chances are I'm gonna come back and make another one about another 10 items, because there's, an RVer can never have enough stuff to haul around in their RV, sense the sarcasm. But seriously, these are all compact, they're all worth it, and hopefully I can uh, get you another video out that shows you 10. Talking about gingerbread, y'all, come on. Have a great night. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. Throw me into that algorithm so that we can get more viewers. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and remember, you too can find your road.